Hi everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Not gonna lie, I've looked at my diary this week and I'm like, how can I vlog? <laughs> I feel like the last couple of weeks I just, I felt a bit of pressure to like make my week interesting but I'm really struggling at the moment because nothing's really happening. Obviously we're still in lockdown. We're kind of potentially gonna come out of it in a couple of weeks time and we can have six people outside. So we'll be able to start doing bits and bobs in the garden, which will be really nice. So hopefully my vlogs will become more interesting then, but I just feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm trying to kind of figure out what to talk about. I mean, to be fair, I do do little bits here and there every day, but I'm just like, is it boring? Do I vlog this bit? Um, yeah, so I am struggling. So I'm really sorry if, it, if my vlogs are a bit boring. Um, but actually, I just thought I would tell you because... So, I I haven't obviously travelled at all since before lockdown last year in 2020. And me and Robin had some holidays booked. And one holiday that we had booked was the Maldives. And we had um, an amazing deal that we found and we booked with the Lux Tripper. Um, and honestly, this deal was ridiculous. But we were going in May, so it was off-peak. But... Yeah, we couldn't go, obviously, because it was locked down. So we changed the dates to March 2021. Thursday. This Thursday. This was meant to be my Maldives vlog, guys. <laughs> I'm so gutted. Um, yeah, we were meant to go to the Maldives on Thursday for a week. So we changed our holiday from last year to this year. And sadly, <laughs> we've got to change it again. However... Lux Tripper and the hotel can't honour the same deal. So I changed from last year to this year and I actually only had to pay an extra £300. So it wasn't actually too bad. And we were going in March, which was peak. So that was really, really good. So they sort of honoured the same deal, changing it from last year to this year. However, they're not honouring the same deal again, which is super frustrating because obviously it's not our fault. And I know it's not their fault either, but I feel like we're being penalised because obviously... I don't know what the refund policy is because we booked before COVID. I do think we can get a refund, but it's a part refund, so we can't fully get our whole money back. So I feel like, well, I want to go to the Maldives anyway, so let's just find somewhere else to go to. So I've had Lux Tripper do me another quote today. And, like, it's double. And I'm like, we're staying an extra two nights. It's a completely different hotel. It's the same, like, overwater villa with a private pool and everything, but it's double. And I'm like... I just don't know if I can pay the same amount again. And I'm only getting two extra nights. I'm going to hopefully go in January 2022. So, okay, it's a little bit more in peak season, but double the price. So I've gone back and I've just said, look, can we somehow get this price down? Can we look at other hotel options? Or like, yeah, basically, because... It's just really frustrating that COVID has come along. I know, obviously, you know, there's a lot worse things happening. I totally appreciate that. And I am in a very fortunate position that I can even afford a holiday and that I am, a, you know, that I'm able to change the dates and stuff. So I totally respect that. But obviously, I'm just sharing my experience. Um, yeah, super frustrating. So I'm hoping that they're going to come back with cheaper quotes. But yeah, it's just really annoying because, like, Robin was like, why don't we just cancel it and just get most of our money back but I want to go like we've been looking forward to going to the Maldives twice now and it's been taken away from us and I feel like life's too short and it's a place that you know is so different and we'll never ever experience anything like this I feel like you know well, I want to go now so I will keep you updated um this week on what happens with that sorry this is a bit of a long intro but yeah thought I'd update you guys guys oh my god managed to get my hands on some more little moons but this time we've got the passion fruit and mango flavor which is the one that i wanted to try the most and um yeah let's do a taste test i've let it melt for longer this time about 15 minutes so it's quite soft now oh yeah oh oh my god tastes like a solero wow ordered some jeans from Zara and they've just arrived so let's open them up and try them on. I've got two different sizes so I'm 
hoping one of them fits. These are the jeans that I've got. They are the Zara straight fit, super high rise straight leg jeans. So these are the size eight that I'm gonna try on. Okay, so they went up okay over my hips, which is what I was worried about. And actually, they're a little bit baggy, but they're not too bad. I would just need a belt, and I normally wear belts anyway. Let me show you what they look like on in my mirror. Okay, so these are what they look like on. I'm actually obsessed with these. They fit me really, really nice. They feel so comfortable. Woo! They are a tiny little bit baggy around my waist, but they feel comfortable. They're not tight because I was worried about them being super tight, which is why I got a size 10 as well. But they don't look too bad at the back. Like, I would just need a belt. Um, but yeah, they look so nice. The only thing is they are a bit too long for me. And I'm, what, five foot four? So yeah, they're extremely long. But luckily, the hem is very raw at the bottom. Let me show you. Hem is literally just being cut. So I could cut these shorter which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut them shorter, I think. But yeah, I love these. I will link these below. Really nice colour for summer. I thought these would look really cute with just some like little crop tops or bralettes and like a blazer. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with how these look and how these fit um, and feel. They're really, really comfy. I reckon I'm going to cut them a little bit shorter because I probably would wear these with trainers or platform sandals. But then if I wanted to wear heels... They're definitely going to have to be cut. Um, but yeah, I am pleased with those guys. I will pop a link below if you are interested. So that was a successful buy. I actually really do like Zara jeans. I normally buy Levi's, um, but I cannot for the life of me find Levi's like this, that fit like this, that are comfy. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad I found these. Um, I'm going to send the other one back and yeah I feel, I feel like you guys got a little snippet of my dressing room I hadn't quite finished tidying it from the other day um, I still need to do that sometime this week but I just don't have time so I'm probably going to clean it at the weekend I feel like I'm just constantly cleaning my dressing room it's just always a tip just made some new nails how cute do these look I'm obsessed with these kind of swirly squiggles at the moment so yeah, you guys might have seen me show you the Mallows Beauty nails, which were so cute that I applied in my last weekly vlog. But sadly, they did not last very long. One pinged off, which obviously is just glue issues. But the thumbs especially, I don't know, maybe I'm quite heavy handed on my thumbs. But because the nails are quite long, they're quite flexible. They're not as thick as the kind of stick on ones that I use. The end of the nail was like bending and it was like curving. Um, and at one point I felt it like nearly go and like bend in half. So yeah, annoying that, I don't know, I don't know if they're kind of wearable for long periods of time. Maybe if you just wanted to stick some on for like the weekend, they definitely lasted like four days, but yeah, they just were a bit flexible and bent. So if you're doing housework and stuff, <laughs> it's not good. New nails. They look so good love them sorry for my croaky morning voice but we are going to make baked oats it's one of my favorite breakfasts at the moment i measure out 50 grams of oats i pour in half a cup of almond milk i crack in an egg half a teaspoon of baking powder a teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a tablespoon of cocoa powder pop that in the nutri billet Pour in a little baking tray. Oh, looks so good. Add in some raspberries. Just plop them in. Pop in the oven 180 degrees for about five to 10 minutes. In it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna do about seven minutes to start with. So just checked it, it's not cooked yet. So I've popped it back in for about another seven minutes. And in the meantime, drinking a cup of tea. Basically comes out looking like this. This has been in there for about 15 minutes now. And yeah, it kind of comes out looking like cake. <gasps> Can't wait to try it. 
Oh, look how soft and fluffy it is. I've added a naughty little bit of Nutella on top as well. Oh, I filmed another um, Disney makeup look today and I completely forgot to vlog and show you the finished look, which is super annoying. However, I obviously filmed it, so I'll show you a little snippet of what is already live. It actually went live today, so head over to my TikTok or Instagram if you wanna see the full video. Here is me being Cruella de Vil. Um, I mean, look at those eyebrows. Very Cruella. So good. So yeah, that was my Cruella de Vil look. Um, a couple of people requested that actually, but it was already gonna be my next one. Um, yeah, such a good childhood film. And yeah, I'm just, I've just been really enjoying doing the Disney looks, to be fair. Like, it's just a bit different. It's quite therapeutic. Quite like sitting in my studio and kind of just spending a bit of time, getting really creative. And yeah, it's just really fun doing a bit of acting as well and like doing the TikTok kind of videos. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys love that. Um, so yeah, it's gone live on TikTok and my Instagram today. Also, guys... I'm so freaking excited because it is Thursday, which means it is RuPaul's Drag Race. Who watches it? I'm gutted it's the final tonight. I mean, I'm so excited, Bimini, to win. But I'm gutted because that is my one show every week where I literally, like Robin says, when, whenever I watch it, I am just laughing <laughs> throughout. And it is just like my one show I watch every week where I feel like I can just laugh and it was just such a good watch so I'm really glad that it's over tonight although I haven't ever watched the American one is the American one as good I feel like I, I like the British one we are shooting another styling video today and I'm doing a legally blonde themed video so I've just laid out all of my outfits this is kind of what I do when I do my styling videos I just like section everything out I've got some amazing pieces lots of this is actually from ASOS marketplace um so it's like secondhand or vintage um I'm honestly loving these shoes how beautiful are these these are from ASOS I love this heel and they're such a gorgeous like color and also these are from public desire they are so comfy and yeah cute summer sandals so i'll pop a link below if you guys are interested in those um this bag is so cute too got that from asos marketplace um but yeah i'm just about to film a illegally blonde styling video oh what is one of the best deliveries you can get on a sunny day donut time donut time have kindly gifted me their easter donuts oh my god they look unreal oh they look so good oh, this one Got a little, is that, that's a Malteser bunny, isn't it? Yeah. Cream eggs. Oh, mini eggs. Honestly, guys, these look unreal. I will pop a link below in case any of you want to treat yourselves this Easter. It's Friday afternoon. The sun is shining. It's time to get in the hot tub. This is the life. Oh, I'm coming in. Oh my God, I just had one of those moments where I lost something and I was like, this is weird. It's completely disappeared. I knew where I'd put it. Like I I remembered putting it somewhere and it wasn't there. Basically, I filmed something this morning and I put the memory card, my phone and my camera at the top of the landing by my studio. And then I went to get changed went back and my phone and my camera was there but the memory card wasn't and I was like, this is honestly the weirdest thing. I looked everywhere, all over the floor and I couldn't find it. And I was like, I just don't get it. And I thought, Shadow must have done something because they were there on the landing where next to all like my phone and stuff and the door went and he ran downstairs. So I was like, maybe he knocked it down the stairs, wasn't down the stairs. I moved my suitcase that was behind him and it wasn't there. I had to walk away. I had to come downstairs and then I, I had to get my glasses and I went back up and I moved all the suitcases out of the way and he'd kicked it with his foot and knocked it like right under everything. Found it now, thank God. 
So guys, I filmed the 2016 versus 2021 makeup challenge that's been going viral on TikTok and it's insane the difference in how I used to do my makeup to now. Like, I'm sorry, but is that actually me? Like, what? Like, this is 2016 Sophie Hanna. She is quite pale. She's only got bronzer and highlighter on and... I never used to wear lashes. What was I thinking? Look at these brows as well. Then this is 2021 Sophie Hannah. She's got a bit more colour to her cheeks. I've definitely got better at contouring. I love my faux freckles and my fox eye makeup. It, yeah, I feel like I've just got a bit more shape to my face. Isn't it mad how your makeup can change the way you look? And also... It's mad how I've improved on my makeup so much over the last few years. Um, it doesn't even feel that long ago that I had my makeup like that or I drew my eyebrows like that, my eye makeup. It's, it's really interesting seeing that kind of um, difference and that gradual change. Obviously with makeup trends as well that are changing all, like all the time, being influenced from other influencers or TikTok and what's trending and yeah, but... It's mad that that I used to do my makeup like that because I look at it, I look at that and I think, oh, like I'm so glad that I don't do that anymore. Um, but yeah, I love the way that I do my makeup now. But in like another four years' time, I'll probably look back at this and be like, ugh, why did I do my makeup like that? Um, yeah, it's so weird how it always works out like that. Also, guys, as I'm on here chatting to you, I did a Q&A on my Instagram last night. I had a lot of que questions about Sophie Hannah Home. And yeah, so oh, I've not really spoken about my house for a while. But basically, um, we've not really been able to do much. I've kind of been waiting for the new tax year to be able to take money out of my business to inject into the house because we've got a few more little bits to do. And I kind of ran out of budget um, last year. So yeah, our builder is coming back in April and he's going to finish everything off. So I've, I've actually just been mocking up some images of the front of the house because I don't know what floor tiles to pick. Maybe you guys can help me. Guys, do you prefer these black and white tiles or do you prefer these blue, black and white ones? I think I prefer the ones with blue in because it ties in with the front door. But what do you think? So yeah, let me know what you think because any help would be much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end my vlog here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got up to this week. Stay safe and I'll see you in another vlog very, very soon. Peace out.